Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drama 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Well, the critically acclaimed channel of the year in my own right family. You know who I am already. I'm Drummer Boy 1980, hailing from the Carolinas, Columbia, South Carolina, to be exact. You know my motto. I don't make believe, I make believers. I hope you're having a good day today. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why you're not having a good day. And remember this happiness is an inside job, and it will always be an internal affair. Well, guys, we back today again with a reaction from none other than Adam Swinger 22. If you caught on to that, you know what I'm talking about. The guy that shared his wife, uh, you know, for some extra pocket change. Yes, Adam 22. Well, in this particular clip here, he asked a series of questions that would incriminate his guests. And I want you to pay attention. This sounds just like Hawaii 5 -0. I saw this video that alleged that it was you uh, involved in this crazy ass shootout. What was that situation? Maybe it might not have been you. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, I don't think it was me. Okay, but that wasn't related to any of the cases that you caught. <laughs> well played. Um, okay, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick another question after that. If that don't sound like the feds, you tell me what is the feds. Guys, did y'all see the awkward moment? Now, let me be transparent with y'all guys. I don't condone criminality or criminals and gang banging and doing all that. But if you gonna live that lifestyle, it's best to keep your mouth shut. It's best not to get on social media and blast and plaster information that would be incriminating that would get you 20, 40, 50 years. In the slammer. This guy go bring up some questions. Sound like DJ Vlad. Sounding just like him. I don't know why guys go on there. And talk about street politics. And all this stuff. Man that stuff's supposed to stay in the streets. What happened in the streets? Stay in the streets. Like Vegas. What happened in Vegas? Stay in Vegas. So why you gonna get on there. And you know these people watching. This dude got a wire on or something. No his wire is his platform. Huh? You heard me, didn't you? His wire is his platform. And he go sit there and ask a man some family. If you can't pick up on that, guys, the guy was outright brutally honest in your face. He asked the question like a prosecutor, the DA or somebody. And people will still go on there, talk about street politics, talk about crib, talk about blood, talk about rolling sticks, all this stuff. I wouldn't say nothing, zero, because it's not for everybody to know. But I guess that's how people come up with notoriety and getting popular and all that. It's not even worth it to me. But that's their lifestyle, though, guys. So what do y'all think about that clip? Does that sound like the fans or does it sound like the fans? Mm. That's crazy to me. Mm. If you ain't got enough sense and if nobody never told you, I'm telling you right now, drama, 1980, telling you, keep your mouth shut. Avoid cameras. Avoid new people coming within the circle. All that good stuff. I used to be in the streets at one time, believe it or not. 
Everybody know it. But mm, I'm a changed man now. I'm changed from the inside out. You understand me? You heard me, did you? I say from the inside out, not out in. Guys, so tell me just what y'all think about that, all right? But Adam 22 have been funny style for a long time. A long time. And anybody that would let somebody bang his wife like that on camera just to make money, mm, you know that he don't care about you. Make the correlation. And the word is, is that he have other people lined up as well to gang bang her. Some more black men. So it's something like a fetish. And like how I told y'all. Now watch when it come out. I guarantee you this. Adam have a thing for black men. I guarantee allegedly. Allegedly. But that's what I believe. I believe that he get off on watching bed books have sex with his wife, not girlfriend, his wife, not somebody that he's casual having sex with, his wife, not somebody that he's pumping and dumping, his wife, not a jump off, not a side chick, his wife. Watch people like this. You have to understand where he came from. Y'all need to go do your research on Adam 22 and see his family history and see how they tied in and clicked in with different politicians and the upper echelon of society. This guy just didn't pop out of nowhere, guys. And some of y'all just can't stand on your own two feet. You have to go running. You have to go kissing up behind people. It's okay to go on the guy platform. Okay? It's okay to go on this platform. But we need our own platforms as well to interview our people and talk about an assortment of things, not only just foolishness and all this. But, you know, there is a place for entertainment, if you will. But we also need something where that we help in the community as well. OK, giving our information is good in the community because somebody gave me some information and I put it into practice and it bear fruit for me. All right. It came to fruition for me. Um, I learned about credit at a young age. I learned about saving a dollar at a young age. I learned about women. You heard me at a young age. That's why I didn't have all these babies running around. Didn't have a baby till I was 40. Hmm, smart. My money was to get everything was laid and flushed out. Plush. Then I welcome a baby and a wife. Excuse me, a wife and a baby. In that order, a wife and a baby. You heard me? Not the baby and the wife. A wife, understand that order, and a baby. Mm hmm. So, and I learned about that at a young age because somebody gave me some information, some good information. And I put that information into practice and it worked wonders for me. So I'm giving y'all some information. Stop going on this dude channel like this and talk about things that will possibly take you away from your family, which, and to be honest, you don't have no business in the streets anyway. But if you are going to do it, keep your mouth shut. Live by the code of omerta. The code of silence, if you didn't know. All right. But guys, I'm going to call it right there. I'm going to put a pen in. Tell me what you think about him asking those questions. And then he go gig about uh, 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 uh. Man, I would have said, Adam, what you doing asking me something like that, man? Why are you even bringing up something like that, bro? That's the first thing that would have came up my mouth. Yeah. But tell me what you think. Put it in the comment section. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.